Wi-Fi down? Um, I can check. <sighs> How am I supposed to be on the JetCal Discord? I don't know, man. We're just gonna have to wait till it goes back on, I guess. Wait, you're a software engineer. Why don't you just make it yourself? I'm challenging myself to code my own version of Discord in 24 hours. I've always wanted to try coding a chat app, and by the time this video is over, well, the website will be designed, coded, deployed, and live for you all to use. So let's get started. On the front end, I'll be using React.js, my favorite JavaScript framework. So let's set that up. Okay, the app is loaded and to check if it's working, I'm gonna replace a boilerplate code with my own text. It's 1 p.m., which means it's time for lunch. Now that I've eaten, let's get back to work. The initial app has been set up, and the next step is to set up Firebase, a database that I'll be storing the chat messages in. Every message that gets saved to this database will get assigned four pieces of data. The text, the data was sent, the profile photo of the sender, and the unique ID. I put in a sample chat message in the database. Now let's connect the React app and see if I can print out some live data. All right, looking good so far. Now, for security reasons, I would only want authenticated users to be able to leave messages. Luckily, Firebase has a built-in Google sign-in method, so all authentication and sign-in functionality will be handled by them. The variable user here will either be undefined if they're signed out, or will contain the user's info if they're signed in. I created a sign-out and a sign-in component, now let's display it on the web page and see if the logic works. Okay, so if a user is signed out, they'll only be allowed to read the database and see the chat. But if a user is signed in and authenticated, they'll get access to the send message component, allowing them to leave a message on the chat and write to the database. It's 4.30 p.m. and I'm falling asleep. If I want to finish this app in 24 hours, I'm gonna need to get some coffee. Looks like I'm headed to K-Town. So at this point, I have the database connected and authentication set up. The next thing on my list is to allow users to write to the database through the React app. So let's set up the send message component. Sweet, that works. I've tested writing to the database with one account, but if all you guys are going to be signing in and chatting on here, I'm going to have to test it with a second Gmail account. And there we go, I have two different accounts, two different profile photos and text saving to the database. I now have a chat app working, but it's bare bones right now and pretty ugly, so let's style it with some CSS. Since I'm calling this Jedcord, let's go steal some colors from Discord. And I also want to steal some CSS code to make the sidebar in a fixed position on the side. Yo, Luke, check it out. Mm -hmm. So remember how we don't have Wi-Fi? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm almost done coding my very own version of Discord. Jedcord? If we ever have no Wi-Fi, I just hop on Jedcord. Just go on Jedcord.com. It doesn't need Wi-Fi. Good luck, dude. I just got home. It's 7:30 p.m. and I have a few more things to do before I can deploy Jedcord to the world. So the app is mostly done being styled. I now want to add information at the top, showing everyone how many members have registered, as well as the number of messages the chat has. So let's code that up. This guy gets a whole pizza to himself. Did you hear it? It's 11 p.m. and I'm on the final stretch. For performance reasons, I don't want to show the entire chat to each user when they open the page. Let's code it so that a user can only see 15 messages at a time. And it's looking pretty good. Time to deploy. 12.45 a.m. My eyes hurt, my head hurts, but I can't give up now. Let's buy a domain name and publish the site to finish up. 
deploying to jetcord.com and it's time for the reveal. 13 hours and 400 lines of code later, I finished up coding my very first chat app. The app works and it's live, so if you've made it this far, check it out, talk to each other, and don't forget to drop a like and comment on this video. This channel is so close to 100,000 subscribers, which is totally insane. I'll be continuing to make videos on here, so I'll see you guys next week.